Race 34, the Topol.com Cumberland Plate, a one mile three furlong event. So 0 to 70 handicaps, so number one is Scepter for Darren Howes, Western Railroad for Kyle Arroganti, Loving Stock for Stu Gray, Delancey Street for Martin Leedham, Larwood Sea for Doug Warren, Nat Geo Girl for Anais, Anne Oldham for Alex Cherry with Autumn Bourne, Brock Lesnar for Stu Gray, Main Just Bookie for Dan Hughes, Much Bounce for James Follis, Semolina for Kevin Minahan, and Sight Sunlight also for Dan Hughes, makes up 13. Over this one mile three, they're in the gates, flags are raised. And they're away. And just the one that missed the break was set up. And had pretty time to settle down and uh, get into the race. As they're through the first furlong, it's Western Railroad that takes it up. From much mounts on Nat Geo Girl against the fence. And through her in a line, they're a couple of lengths ahead of Loving Stock, being followed through by Cy Sunlight, Brock Lesnar, and Anne Oldham, the great. Remainder of Scepter, Larwood C, Main Just Bookie, Delancey Street, Semolina, and Autumn Bourne. But up front, we've got a leader on his own now, and it's much mental for James Follis. It leads by two lengths to Western Railroad, a further length and a half back to Nat Geo Girl. Loving Stop and Brock Lesnar from the Grey Stables, sitting pretty. Then we've got Doug Warren's Larwood C. And a length or so back to Sight Sunlight and Main Just Bookie, with Semolina poking his head between horses. And then just the four at the back at the moment, a Scepter, Delancey Street, and Alderman, Autumn Bourne. As we get to around about six furlongs from home, it's much Mansell that's still going to lead us by about two lengths to Western Railroad. A few back now to Brock Lesnar has made a bit of a move alongside Nat Geo Girl and then loving stop against the fence. Then Larwood C, Semolina and Sai Sunlight. And the remainder just uh, to the rear at the moment got a little bit to do. So five furlongs from home and it's much Mansell that leads us by about a length from Western Railroad. And then we've got about three back to Brock Lesnar, Nat Geo Girl and loving stop. But as they hit the four furlongs, it's still much Mansell and he's still pulling away a little bit here. The one that's making a really good move now against the fence is Nat Geo Girl, but it's much Mansell. Leads by two to Western Railroad, Nat Geo Girl, Brock Lesnar, Loving Stop, and they're a couple of lengths ahead of the rest being pulled along by Semolina and Larwood C. But much Mansell, they get to the three furlong pole. He's going to be put under pressure by Nat Geo Girl now on the outside. It's much Mansell, Nat Geo Girl, and running on well now is Loving Stop, or inside the two furlongs. It's match, much Mansell, Nat Geo Girl, Loving Stop, Brock Lesnar, Western Railroad going again, Larwood C. But up front, it's Nat Geo Girl. Nat Geo Girl moves in front inside the final furlong from Loving Stop on the outside. Side, but it's Nat Geo Girl, Loving Stop, these two are going to pull away now, and it's Loving Stop and Nat Geo Girl, just by a neck, coming back, Nat Geo Girl, Nat Geo Girl puts on the, puts himself in a first gear, Nat Geo Girl's just going to hang on to this, I hope, Nat Geo Girl, get in, I hope so, so I think that's a win for Ananias, and I think their first win of the season, I'm hoping Western Railroad for Carl Arrogant, he didn't get up, let's just wait, and Doug Larwood's horse was there as well, Nat Geo Girl takes it, well done. Round of applause from the crowd there. Second was Western Railroad. Third was Larwood C. Let's make sure it wasn't a dead heat. Still a win. No, it's a shorthand win for Alan Ayers. Well done. Your first winner, Nat Geo Girl. Second was Western Railroad for Carl Arroganti. Third was Larwood C for Doug Warren. Fourth was Loving Stop for Stu Gray that certainly stopped running. And fifth was Semolina for Kevin Minahan.